Well, let's explore the exterior angle theorem, and then we're going to do a two-column proof of it. So right there, I've got this arbitrary triangle here, and I've got the three interior angles, red, green, and blue, and I'm going to extend one of the sides, and that forms what we call an exterior angle. And as you can imagine, there are six such exterior angles. At each vertex, there's a pair of vertical angles, which are congruent. So that's the relationship you have. Let's focus at one of them. And I'm going to say that this exterior angle is equal to, in this case, the red and the blue together. Those angles we're going to call the remote interior angles. They're remote because they're not touching this exterior angle. See, only the green one's touching there. The green is adjacent. So they're also called non-adjacent interior angles. And those angles are going to add up to 180. One red, one green, one blue. Let's do the proof. So let's proceed with our two-column proof here. Just like we did for the triangle sum theorem, we're going to prove the exterior angle theorem here, starting with a line, in this case AB, and a point not on the line C. And just like we did before, we know there's exactly one line parallel, that's the parallel postulate, parallel to AB passing through C, and I'm going to call it K. Then, just like we did before, I'm going to draw in the lines AC and CB, because two points determine a unique line ray or segment. Then, again, I'll use my two angles, my alternate interior angles here. And the next one, this is where we're going to vary just a little bit. I'm going to draw an exterior angle. In this case, one is exterior to the triangle that we've created, ABC. And you can see that it is congruent to this angle, which is really the sum of angles 3 and 4. So there's a lot going on here. I'm really doing the angle addition postulate. I'm using the alternate interior angle theorem. And um, I guess I'm actually using the definition as well of congruence to say that measures are equal. But um, in the interest of keeping the lines down, let's just, let's just go with that. And once we've got that, then you can see it's a simple matter of substitution. And I'm going to replace, well, substitution, let's... Uh, we're going to substitute. Let's substitute there. So there you go. The measure of angle 1, that's this angle, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. That is the two interior angles of this triangle, which are not touching angle 1. And again, if I move the figure around, you see it remains consistent. So the red angle is equal to the sum of the blue and the green.